<laughs> yes, sir. Well, we missed this one on camera, but we, uh, he, we laid more, <laughs> he laid it down pretty hard. <laughs> Feels like a pretty decent fish. Of course, we got quite a bit of current, so. Now, when we come out of here this morning, we worked, we got, you know, we caught some bait and we come out here real slow. There was a barge going by us. And uh, we just took our time and come down through here marking stuff and we marked a just a good pot of big fish. And when I say pot, I mean there was like four of them laying together on the back side of a drop off and was able to get, you know, get anchored up on them. And I'd say this is probably one of them. Oh, that's good fish. Yeah, oh yeah, that's good. No wonder he stayed there. I think that's one of the I'd say the this car. is one of the ones we marked back here. There you go. Nice one. Get him back here. I'm about 30 pounds of fish. Right? There you go. Boom. Come on. Thank you, buddy. All right, folks. We're back out on the high river again today, chasing those winter blue cats. It's uh, man, it's it's different. I uh, haven't seen this river like this. You know, just like the last video I, sh I gave you guys. You know the river had a belly in it well we finally got a break in rain the river's down it's coming back up but it's on a slight rise it's actually got some kind of murky it's kind of murky but probably the clearest it's been in months yeah. i got a good friend doc lang for you guys that don't know doc lang you need to watch catfish weekly a super knowledgeable guy just an all-around awesome guy but uh, he's with me today we're gonna try to get on some more good blue cats and I'll pump. Bait was easy. We marked fish. We caught fish. Within 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes. It's probably going to be a good day. Yeah. That stick you on this up on him. Oh, there he goes. Come on, baby. Pull that thing down. Gotta go, Bing. <laughs> Picture with him? Yeah. We'll kiss him. We'll, we'll kiss him. <laughs> we'll wait for the big one. I thought it was just, I just thought, oh, here we go. I thought it was just going to go.
fat as fat as can be. Wow. Man. Yeah. Like that, gone. Nice. Are they just gonna go with that? Oh, 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 oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we've been having a time today. It's a uh, yeah, we marked fish right off the start in the get-co and then fished a couple other places, but uh, found some fish one place, and this is the first time I've really ever had this issue uh, with the anchor not holding anywhere, but it was like a gravelly, real fine gravelly area right on the seam line. We marked all kinds of fish on it, but just we ended up uh, dragging the anchor through them and uh, couldn't really, couldn't get them, you know, couldn't get on them, so come up here and there's more current up here where we're at, but... A lot of cover and structure back there, and, and uh, I might have to move some rods for him. Where's he going? He's going across the he's going across the back, yeah. Now we marked a couple fish, you know, on this uh, this tree that we're fishing. And it's just a drop off of the tree and some brush and wood on it. He messed with that rod for a long time, too. Yes, he did. Yeah. Doc just said something that was pretty interesting. He he messed with that bait for forever, probably, well, at least the last five minutes or so, yeah. isn't it? He just kept pecking it up, pecking it up, finally. Finally, finally when he committed, he committed. Yeah, nice fish. Just come to the top and just... Absolutely, just started rolling. All right, now Doc said something really interesting, and, and if you let's roll this fish up, you see on its belly. You know, we've been marking these fish, and they're—I mean—they're real, really down, down close to the bottom, but they're coming up super clean. No mud, no—I mean, just as clean as a whistle. Yeah. So that's really that's interesting. I don't know why they're holding holding tight to the structure, but they're they're not buried in the mud. He's still there. He got it. Swimming up with it. Yeah, he started coming. He's coming out the boat. Doc's hooked it up again. Just like a lot of the fish in the wintertime, that thing's coming straight up to the surface and just, just rolling, curling his tail and rolling. <laughs> he looks like he a spitterbait coming in. He just jumped up. <laughs> Another nice little fish. <laughs> These, these things are, they know what they're doing whenever they get in that current. I casted that one back there after he uh, <laughs> he caught that last fish and I casted it about a country mile. That fish are way back there, dude. Got some good in there. There you go. Pretty. Yeah, got a little leech on him. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I 
Had a little bit of action right there real quick. Had three rods going down at once. Let me see it. Hold on, hold on. Take it. I want to show you guys why. Why that fish got missed. See what happened? That hook had turned back in. We had a small one. A small one messing with it. And I'd say that small one messed around, pecked around on it enough that turned that bait, hooked back in itself and that fish never never even got hooked. So that happens. That happens. All you can do is put another piece out there and see if another one will bite. Just outside of Ingle Harbor, and he said that uh, and he said he didn't know what the water was like, and he got a little afraid, so they just anchored down. First spot they come to, they bust an 82 pound. Huh. going on. Really? Oh. Just a minute ago we had uh, three takedowns at the same time and we only hooked up on one of them. At least we're hooked up on two this time. Our, per our percentage rate's getting a little better. Now, as we come up through here, we marked a tree and it was just loaded with fish. And uh, I wasn't able to get the camera on the sonar, but I was able to take a snapshot of it. So I'll leave a picture of the snapshot in this video so you guys can see see the amount of fish that was on that tree. And uh, you know now you're going to be able to see the size of fish that was. Same size, got twins coming in. Not big fish, his is a little bit bigger than mine, but that's okay. Still but clean. That gives you an idea of the size of fish that was on that tree. And uh, you know, as you guys can see from the picture, there was a bunch of fish on that thing, just stacked up on it. Not real big, but fun, fun action, clean as a whistle, beautiful blue cats. Tearing these small fish up. The, they are not. Uh, they're not nibbling on the poles. Uh, I mean, they're laying them right down now. Yeah, they're definitely. The bite seems to be picking up, doesn't it? Tell you what, they open their mouths. It's like trying to bring a bucket <laughs> up through there. You know? Yep. This is the bait of choice today, gizzard shad. About like always in winter time for us, you know. We're using about a one by two chunk. Nice, fresh, bloody, bloody, bloody gizzard shad. Yeah, 
hooked up again. About the same size fish we've been catching. It took them a while to take any baits here. The yes, other place. Boy, they got, we got right on. same size what we've been catching we uh moved off moved off that tree it was on just moved over a little piece and uh, marked some more and got back on them Didn't waste no time, did he? No. Two minutes. <laughs> now we ain't been here long. We just got the baits out. Literally, Doc is still putting baits out. And I think there's like a minute and a half on the camera, so. We decided to Decided to come up on this shallow flat and see what happened. Looks like it paid off. And hey, right here, right here, Doc. And this is shallow water fishing at its best. I mean, this ain't a big fish, but we had to try something different, you know. He just came. Right here, Doc. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the one that's way out here, too. Yeah. Hey, you get him? You get him? Yeah. <laughs> Double. That's a little bit better fish there. Yeah, it's better fish. Yeah. Here's the, the one Doc pulled in there. Probably, you know, just a small eater fish like we've been catching. Yeah. Chris has got a decent one here. Get a picture of him. Unreal. Yeah. I had a hunch, you know. These fish were eating and uh come up here. I we've been catching fish in 25, 30 foot of water, you know, real heavy covers what they've been on. But they've been eating good. So I decided to come up here and we've got five minutes and thirty-five seconds on the camera. This is number three coming in the boat. But this is. Fish number 16 for the day. Yeah, yeah, and like 16 for the day, I think. But, but this is 
shallow water fishing at its finest. Fish. Clamp down on my hand. Nice fish. Three Eight foot of water. Clean as a Clean whistle. As a whistle. You got him? Yep. There. That far over. Yeah. And then all the way from this whole side, all the way up this bank is all shallow. Oh, okay. They might line. be packed up uh, underneath that tree there, too. Oh, could be. Could be. I don't know how long I've been dancing. <laughs> I just I look down and see it. <laughs> Twelve minutes on the on the uh, film. And we got more that break. Yeah, there you go. Nice little right, bonus those fish. Things, those things will cut you in a heartbeat. That and those gills right there, that edge line right there. Yep. They lay on the end wide open. I'll tell you what, he's lucky. I gotta go pick up furniture tonight. Because <laughs> he would be dinner. Still there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's already popped up well <laughs> shallow water. He's been sitting there messing with that for a while. Yeah, this fish doc just caught just I mean it just messed with it forever again and that's very unnormal. Very unnormal for a shallow water bite. Get the net. Um, I don't think it's catch. What is that thing? That's a musky. <laughs> we just got a musky. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Folks, we just caught something. I've never, never, ever had one of these in a the boat. Look at this thing. Is that not absolutely that is, That's awesome. cool. <laughs> that's my first one, <laughs> too. It? Yeah. He never caught one. I always talk about going with Tommy Long yeah. after these things because he said they're a blast to catch. And he, that so, thing was wild. I mean, it was crazy. Let's get a picture with him. That's pretty awesome. 
<laughs> Give me some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know much about muskie. I, well, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know nothing about muskie. All but... I know is that he went ripping across that water. And... Yeah. Uh, I don't think this is a catfish. I could get into muskie fishing if they if they all fight like that. So. Wow. Hey, if any of you all are a muskie fisherman, and they fight like that all the time leave some experience comments down in the comments section because that's pretty you. awesome we probably wow. and all all of that has happened here in less than 25 minutes i mean you want to talk about that was so cool you want to talk about being at the right place at the right time wow we hit that and that fish couldn't have been in more that's four foot of water out there. Four foot of water, probably. Yeah, at least at, at most. At yeah, most. because I mean that when I threw it out there, it settled right down, right now. I said, "Wow, that's really shallow." So, hey, we need some more bait. We need some more bait. This will be a good minute trip. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, that's the one that's been up in the creek now for a while, hasn't it? I don't know what number this is, but it, that's number 20. Another small one, but hey, and we are having a ball. Having a ball. Is that a decent fish? It's hard to tell. I know. It might be a leatherback snapping turtle. I don't know. <laughs> This thing's fighting different. I don't, I mean. Feels like it's got some weight to it. Oh, uh, blue. Another blue cat. Got his mouth wide open too. Yep. Got his mouth open, tail curled. And Coming in like a spinner bait. <laughs> Number twenty. There you go. I mean, he's long, big old head. This might be a male. Tell you what, the old high rivers treating us well today. Uh, something I like to do here is how things have been sitting, mm -hmm. reel everything back up, put it all fresh on, and recast everything. Okay. And you sometimes, sometimes you'll get another big flurry. Oh, they come out? Yeah. Okay. Well, there I go again. I shut the camera off. We was going to reel everything in, put fresh bait on. The very last rod that was out got hammered, and I didn't have the camera on. I mean, just as pretty and clean. I mean, these fish are putting the feedback on, ain't they, Doc? Yes, they are. The floor yeah. of the boat of the old Pro Cat is slicker than snot, son. <laughs> I don't think that musky helped you. So, to give you guys a little bit more of an idea of what's what's going on, you know, you, we have an area that's that's holding bait where this, you know, this. Uh, drainage ditch or creek or whatever you want to call it that's coming in and this is a big old sand flat okay but in that sand flat there's little ditches that go out to the to the main channel and this is like an access place for these fish are coming you know we, we have figured out that they're hungry and they're eating they're eating you know quite a bit and it and we don't have a lot of current either. and and we don't have a whole bunch of current where we're at but where we was at before you know we was catching fish um, 
they sometimes it was quick bite, sometimes it was a slow bite. They was really in the structure, really deep in that in that structure. But you know, we realized, hey, they they are hungry. They're wanting to eat. So decided to come someplace where it would intercept the fish wanting to come eat and where the bait was at and it has absolutely paid off paid off good and it's shallow you know uh, I, I, I love fishing shallow them fish hit mean and aggressive and and you know they ain't got nowhere else to go but either sideways or back they can't go down so what we did was we just kind of reeled everything up we've been here for 30 minutes caught I have no idea how many fish a striper a muskie yeah. uh you know Couple just, of you know had, had a real good flurry and uh things had kind of settled down a little bit reeled everything back in put all fresh new bait out there and uh you know threw back out there to see if we can catch some more we'll stay here another 30 minutes and see what happens maybe try the mouth up of uh the marina again and <laughs> and just like that, new bait. Another fish. Uh, this thing's got some shoulders to it. Uh oh. And he's staying. I know he's he's not down deep, but he's staying down. That's what we like. Ah, another nice fish. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fish. What an awesome day. Hold on, hold him back up there. Hey, folks, look at that smile. <laughs> I don't care who you are, what size fish you catch. And I've been doing this for a long time. He's been, this is great. He was doing this when I was in diapers. And what a day. We, we've had a great day. We've had this a great day. Awesome. All right, we'll let this big boy go. Ooh. <laughs> That's on the shallow water one. Uh-oh, what do we have? We're gonna call this one a mystery fish pole because <laughs> it's sitting in four foot of water, literally. That's where the muskie come from. And and we got another one. Let's <laughs> let's see what we got. Alright, had to do some card switching. The other card got full. Mystery fish turned out to be another blue cat. Nice one. And uh Doc's having a little trouble getting that Diachi hook out. He just in there good. For everybody to ask me why I use them, that's that's the reason. They once they are in, there's really no coming out. Look at that mystery fish, plain as a whistle. <laughs> Number who knows? I, 20, I 21 or 20, 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. I'm glad he's counting. He's wore out. I'm tired. Well, folks, I think we have uh, about emptied this little area out right here. We <laughs> yeah. we have caught, we caught eight five pound or eight twenty pounders right here. Yeah, we have 
<laughs> we have put some fish in a boat right here where we're at, including a striper, including a muskie. A uh, 38 inch muskie, mind you. I don't, I mean, once again, I don't know nothing about muskie, but if I, I think that's, awesome. I think yeah. that's a big muskie. I don't yeah. know, but if, if any of you guys out there are muskie fans or muskie people that fish for muskie, if 38 inches is a good muskie, leave it in the comments. Let yeah. us know. Let cause us know. Cause I'd like to know. I mean, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. But, but we're about to end today. It has been a, uh, it has been a stellar day. It has, I mean, we have, uh, we have fished hard. Uh, we have fished, you know, some heavy brush, caught fish, fished some, uh, you know, uh, 25 to 30 foot. That's what we was catching them at mainly. Yeah. We were catching a lot of eight, 10 pounders yeah. in that. Yeah. And it wasn't until we moved into the shallow water then, wow. Boom. Then it, I it mean, was it, on. And bigger fish. Now we didn't catch no monsters, but we caught we caught several in the twenty pound range. And man, you just I mean, that's and a we're good waiting day. on a rod to go down right here. You're just sitting yeah. there, easing it. There we go. Well, that fish didn't commit, unfortunately. But uh, but anyway, had a good time today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you do, if you can remember, if you don't watch it. Catfish Weekly, uh, Mondays at 8. 8 Eastern, 7 Central. 8 Eastern, 7 Every Central. Every Monday night. Yep, make sure, make sure that you're a subscriber to that channel. They give away a ton of gear, fresh, fishing gear, catfishing gear. I mean, they give away a ton of stuff. So, lots of uh, tips and, and people talking in the chat. Uh, Doc usually, you know, uh, you know, runs over the chat while it's going on and things like that, but Make sure you get on there. Make sure you subscribe to that channel. And as well, always, if you like what we're doing, if you like the content that I'm putting out, hit that subscribe button, notifications. Uh, to remember, Tackle Talk Tuesday, 7 Eastern Standard Time, every Tuesday. And Video Viewer Fridays. Um, if you have a question that you wanna see a video of, leave it in the comments. And if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. Till next time, for Doc and Chris, we'll catch you on the water.